thank you very much. It's an honor to come and talk to you. I will not stand too close because we're getting echoes, so I will stand back. So I'm going to talk about three things. I'm going to talk about AI and computing. I'm going to talk about generative theory and how we could use that. Is it echoing? Yes, it's coming out from your computer. Yes. Okay, let's get that there. Is that better? Yes, okay. Um, Generative theory of interaction, which is I'm going to do in a lightning fast way, but it's a way of thinking about how we can create partnerships between human beings and AI systems. And I'll give you a number of examples of things to try to think about where we're going next with AI. All right, so let's see if we can... You see how easy it is to use computer systems? They're really, really great. All right, let's see if I can master this. All right, how do we interact with computers? I will argue that we have various different strategies for thinking about the design of interactive systems. We can think of the computer as a tool that we use to accomplish things. And here we show a hammer, you know, and a nail, you can do that. And if you're coming from human-computer interaction, that is often what we're doing. We're creating tools for users. Now, if you're in the AI world, you're often thinking more about the computer as a servant. We delegate tasks to the servant, it does it, and then it comes back. And the third way of thinking about interacting with computers is to think of it as a medium of interaction. So social media, chats, all of those kinds of things are ways of doing it. Now, those are sort of historically the way we've kind of organized things. And what we'll be doing later on is seeing how we can start integrating those together. I also want to remind you that a computer is not just a laptop or a phone. It can be something that you wear. It can be something that is embedded, a technology embedded in an object. And it can also be in the environment around you. So we have this whole range of possibilities. And given the extraordinary advances with Moore's Law and changes in hardware, we can now do all kinds of things that we couldn't do before. So, let's think about what's happening with AI. AI is advancing extraordinarily rapidly and has gone through the AI winter and, and summer, I guess, and we seem to be in summer again. There's all kinds of stuff that's been happening with ChatGPT. And so I want to think a little bit about how do AI systems think about interaction with us human beings. So, Here's an example that I like. Uh, chat. Okay, so you know, um, Dad's in prison. What? Are you joking? Wait, why aren't you answering your phone? I'm freaking out. Uh, I mean, just so that, you know, Dad's interested... Wait, I'm sorry, I was in the bathroom. Dad's interested in dinner tomorrow. Your chat just took 